I'm not sure if you're going to go back to the vlog. I think it's been a while since I've been sat down with her for a better chat with some days. And I've been kind of missing that. So I figured I would want to do that. Hey guys, so in this video I'll quickly show you how to make the intro that you saw at the beginning of this one and a few of my earlier videos. It's one that I just finished making and it's actually really simple to do if you don't uh, do it wrong, which I did in the beginning. Uh, let me show you, this is the project, um, the finished project where I finished the intro. It has 30 video tracks, a soundtrack, a song, the Brad Sox song. Um, also a different rendering of some of the sounds from the videos that I use. I didn't use the sound of all 30 videos in this intro. I think I only use like four or five and then some sound effects. Um, so I'm just quickly going to show you how to do that in this new project. First thing you do is you open a random video. Well, preferably the one that you need. First thing I'm going to do is unlink the audio, control U and then delete the audio. Um, then I'm gonna shorten it to where I want it to start, which is here. And then I want to resize it. I'm going to click the event pan crop button on the clip to resize it. Oh, sorry. Uh, we're gonna zoom out on the hole here. And then we're gonna, you can zoom in by doing this and you can zoom out by doing this. We're gonna go to the size that we want. I think this is probably a good size for that gonna move it to the top here then if you want all the other videos you're going to be using in this intro to have the exact same size you can type a name in here click the save button and then you'll have this preset and that will help you for all the other uh, videos you're going to be putting in here I have a few saved uh, so that's a, a thing that that helped me out make sure always that you're that your cursor is at the beginning of the timeline because if it's at the middle it will create a keyframe and then you will see the movement of your video then it will uh, slowly zoom out and become this small sized and repositioned pip so that's not the idea the idea is for you to zoom out from the very beginning so make sure that your cursor is there okay we close this and i'll add just one or two more videos what else? I'm trying to find videos with the exact same resolution because it makes it a little bit simpler to to add them to this video. Okay, so there. We unlink the audio. There we go. Uh, we position them. Delete the audio tracks that we're not using. And make sure that the videos you're using don't actually have their own intro at the start that makes it easier and then we also resize them um, it doesn't have to be the same size if you want something with different sizes it can quite easily be this there you go there you go so this is a, a different order and a different size for each pip but you can choose to have all the videos uh, have the exact same size and then put them in rows underneath each other it's the exact same thing um, so then we're just gonna add the effect the effect is done by clicking the track effects button here we're going to add a brightness and contrast filter as well as a Gaussian blur filter and we're gonna make sure that these are set at zero so that they don't affect the entire track we're gonna animate both there and then we're gonna decide where we want them to start fading probably here somewhere let's try the first one there um, I'm gonna make this a little bit bigger I'm gonna add a Gaussian blur keyframe and this is your zero keyframe this is an important one you're not gonna add any effects at this keyframe because then that effect will be applied throughout the entire range of uh, this video so this is your zero keyframe then you're gonna decide in how many uh, keyframes you want this effect to take place I decided on three so one two three here add an extra keyframe for both and then decide uh, how you want the brightness and contrast to be I think I chose something like this and then a blur both horizontally and vertically 
Um, there, I'm going to make them a little bit more horizontally. If you want to keep this exact level of blurriness and brightness and contrast in mind, again, type in a name for it and click the Save button. And then you'll have a preset that you can apply to every single video that you add to this intro. So we did that. Now we're going to click Exit. We see our keyframes here when we zoom in and then you decide when you want it to be completely gone. I think I decided on one keyframe after the effect and then you get something like this. For the intro what I did is I always added one keyframe and then I started with the next one. So brightness and contrast, Gaussian blur, make sure they're set at zero animate animate click a zero point which your cursor is at at the time being one two three three keyframe keyframe and then i will click the flashes presets that i have created oh wait these are the This one, intro, and then this is the result. So you see that works really nicely. All you need to do is just add some sound effects. Um, what I did for the final intro, you can see that in this project, I wait. You can see that in this project, I use the sound of a few videos that I use in this intro, but not a lot. I think four or five at the most because I don't, I don't want it to get too busy and that way you can still understand a little bit of what is being said and it's not too, too heavy. I also added a song, the Brad Suck song, and I also added some clicks. I'll show you the clicks. They're very subtle and when you add a larger effect, like this one, it's hardly noticeable, but it does add a certain element to it. So that's all there is to it. It's really very simple to create this effect. You don't have to work with white overlaying solids to have that blurriness and that flash effect. Um, that would also just crash your Vegas project because that would just be too complicated to do. But of course, that's what I tried first. Um, it's relatively simple. Once you have this project, it's a great template for future projects. You can just replace one of these videos with another one and then you, you already have uh, all the work done. So it's relatively simple and it shouldn't really crash Vegas all that much. Definitely keep saving your Vegas project regularly because you never know if it crashes. You are using quite a lot of video video tracks in this one. So make sure to, to save your projects regularly. Uh, that that helps. So yeah, that's that's it. It's a really simple intro. It just takes a little bit of time. But once you've put in all the effort, it's it makes a really nice template for future projects. You can just replace one of these videos and it's very easy because all the work is already done. Um, so yeah, that's that's all. That's uh, that's all it takes to make a, uh, a fun uh, Vegas intro. Of course, it can take some time to resize all these separate videos and make sure that they're quite symmetrical. Um, but that, that just takes some time and you can mess around with that quite easily. I hope you enjoyed this video. Hope you try it out. Let me know if you do. Happy editing and I'll see you soon. Peace out!